Hey y'all, it's Ty Jalel. Welcome back to my channel. This video will be simply, I'm hoping, simply just a limp check video. I made it over to over nine months this month for our growth in 2019 if you've been following this playlist. So we, 12 months is right around the corner. So that means what I want to know from y'all is, first of all, if you're new to this channel or to my videos, subscribe below, like this video because you're going to um, get some good information and then just because... You know, what? Lint check. Um, but anyways, have you noticed growth since January? So if you've been following this playlist, have you noticed growth since January? And just go ahead, scroll down a little bit, type in yes, no, maybe, whatever, whatever you feel. I have received some pictures from some of y'all. Um, again, if you have pictures and you post them, I say hashtag grow with lady. That's my name, 2019. That's where I'm looking at pictures. Some of y'all have DM'd them to me. So either way works. Um, and I want to share some of those pictures with you guys on this. So I'll show you guys other people's growth too, just to let you know, like our hair is growing and it's not by anything that's magical. Cause again, you guys notice I have not shown you guys any growth remedies on this whole thing. I've just been trying to give you guys healthy hair tips and you know, why our hair may grow or may not grow. So this is strictly how to grow your hair by taking care of it, basically. If you're taking care of your hair, inevitably it's gonna grow, whether you want it to or not. If you wanna keep it shorter, you would have to cut it. So I want you guys to be able to know how to take care of your hair. Now, before I go off on a tangent, um, so yes, check in. And even if you haven't been following this playlist, um, you can also comment down below. Yeah. So I actually have to trim my hair. Again, I have not trimmed it and it's time for a trim. So I trimmed it in March, but it's October now. It's time for another trim. So when y'all see me again, I'll probably just finally do the 12 month update. So I should have about an inch difference from today because I'll be trimming it between this. Uh, just like last time, I gave up on the um, front marks, but obviously hair is growing. Um, okay, so let's see what the back looks like. Can y'all see that? So that's where I'm at today. Let us know what have you been doing that you've noticed has worked. Because the people who send me pictures, they let, I ask them what they do and it's like, everyone is doing something different. You do what works for you. So that's why I'm asking because I want them to put that down below and you'll see everyone has a different regimen, but there are also some basic and main or primary similar. If you have not noticed growth, I do want to know what do you believe you're still struggling with? Again, there's the main reason why you will not notice growth is because somewhere the hair is breaking off. So you have to identify where it's breaking off. Is it because your hair is um, mostly dry all the time? Because dry hair is going to break. So are you struggling with moisture and you think that's causing your breakage? Or is it how you're styling? Maybe you're rough with your hair during styling or just managing your hair like washing and stuff. Like are you raking through? So some styles and what you're doing to your hair will cause break, um, split ends to come more quickly and then you have to trim more often. And if you're not trimming, that's just what's called causing your breakage. Or you could also not be noticing growth because maybe you're trimming too much. So that's why I also think it's good to know your growth rate because you can know if what you're doing your hair, to your hair is causing split ends to come faster than how fast your hair is growing. So you're actually needing to cut more than what is coming out of your scalp and so you're never able really to see much growth over time. Last thing, someone asks about single strand knots. That comes with the natural hair territory. I have them too. They're very annoying. Um, I wouldn't say it's anything to worry or panic about. However, it is a good indicator of when it's time to trim again. So I've noticed my trim schedule because my hair starts to get around it. It starts to let me know usually around the same time all the time that it's time to trim. And so for me again, that's six or seven months. So usually I'll start to fill a whole bunch of them um, and that I'll think about the date or how many months it's been and usually it's close to my trim time again. So when it starts to get super excessive, that just lets me know it's probably time to trim again. So again, don't try not to over trim. Um, I don't think single strand knots are that huge of a deal because as soon as you cut them, they're going to come right back. It's because our hair shrinks up on itself so it's coil coiling around itself and it's creating knots. Um, 
stretch styles will help with that. So the more you wear your hair in a stretch state, it's gonna shrink up less on itself. So you might get uh, single strand knots less often. On the flip side, if you're like, have kinky, really kinky hair like me and you uh, wear a wash and go very often, it's possible that you can have more single strand knots because literally like, my hair is this long, but it shrinks up to like, here when I have a wash and go, so that's a lot of shrinking back up on itself. So that will cause a lot of um, single strand knots for me if I'm wearing a wash and go all the time, like 24 seven. So I usually wear stretch styles, like a twist out or something. I think that's it. I'm gonna keep it right there because if I say something else, I'm gonna keep on going. So again, y'all know what to put in the comments. Hashtag to, uh, grow with lady 2019 for your photo. And that's it. Subscribe down below, like the video, and I'm going to show you some of the growth from some of the other people that have been growing with this. If you have not joined in January and you're deciding like, oh, I didn't know she was doing this. I want to do this with her. Start now. Start now and just watch the old videos and just follow your growth for these last three months that we're doing it together. And then you can continue. Um, so that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. But my next lint check will be in January when it's been one year. So that's it. Bye.